everybody and welcome back it is time for another episode of my minecraft 1.20.1 world we're not quite at 120 yet when this video does go live it will have been live 1.21 will have been up for about two days so i'll be honest i'm not going to be going to 1.21 until up to find updates just so that everything stays looking pretty and fancy so but today we're going to do <clears throat> I just took another screenshot. We're going to do a little bit of work here. We're going to get this walled in, get the windows in. Ooh, not that one. Uh, we're going to get the windows in. We're going to get the, all that stuff done. We need a bunch of this. We're going to switch that out for something else. But we're going to just start with filling this in. probably hear my kitten in the background that is very happy with me and I want one one two three so I could I could do that I could put window a tall window here and tall window there okay that works be able to see outside not that that really matters to the villagers but i'll maybe put it there and there Oop. i love how this is blue terracotta but it is most definitely a very much a like a royal purple Let's throw glass in. See, that doesn't look terrible. It does look unfinished. So we're going to just do this. Then I need these. We'll go here, we come down. I still need to put the, the gates, but I'm not gonna use the spruce gates. I started using a dark oak gate with it and it just has that darker look and I really like it. But, so there'll be that. There's gonna get some, uh, we'll put some vines or something here too. We could put like a, uh, uh, we do this, and then we need a, if I do this, I can do this, and then do, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this up a little bit right here right now too. work and with the darko gate on there and then we can put some plants there we can put some uh, like different plants and whatnot there we'll do the same thing on this side uh, we'll get blue in for the rest of the walls up top I'm gonna do like a I'm gonna do the the white with calcite and and such and then that i'm going to do like a different window type idea i've got some purple glass for that so 
So let me get that accomplished. We should figure out for windows on this side too, because I do want it to feel like there's windows here. No, we can't do that anymore because I've got that. Maybe on this side we're only going to go... That, and then it needs to so if we bring it in if we did it I could either do here or I could do here if I do here I'll be touching if I do here they're further they're spaced further Yeah, we'll do it that way. Same thing though. We'll do, we'll hop out here. These ones won't get planters because this ground is going to get leveled. And we'll do something else back here. But then all we need to do is just do a quick little boop. Need to not miss. A boop, boop. Eh. Yeah, and then with the, the dark oak gates on there, that'll look good. We'll probably replicate these windows on the back wall. They will probably won't get the, the planters because I think this area is going to get leveled out and there'll be something else here. Maybe this will be a back alley or something. These ones, might I might take it up higher for the windows. We're all looking to making some kind of a different looking window. And I'm probably going to finish up this room here too. We're going to put a window there and then there's going to be a window there. And we'll put the rest of the stuff in here. Because instead of trying to bring them through there and then up and over, we're just going to come in through this side. Just as easy. I can like take out this, put a fence gate, and have it build up so they jump, go over, and they fall in. And then they can't get out. So, but yeah, we'll get this last wall up. I'll do something on the top, and then... We'll be right back. Well, I got the house done. So now we need to move the villagers. And uh, I didn't know how long it was going to take to get catch one. So I figured I'd wait until I caught one. And then, then we'd be on our way. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to... Just do this, and I'm gonna fly up this way. We just gotta wait for the little locomotive that could to catch up. Now I just gotta repeat that two more times. Oh, I can't pick it up because I got no space in here. Okay. I need to maneuver some stuff around, so then I'll get the cart, and then we'll get the other two up here. And we'll check back once I get those two over. And then it's just getting the far one from over there. I've got this set up for five. I don't know if I'm actually gonna have five villagers for farming, but we'll find out. So I'll be right back after I get the other two up here. Well, all three of the farmers are inside now, so let's, let's just go in and visit them and you'll see what I've done here. Uh, so one thing I did do was I moved the food over, obviously a double chest for the carrots and the wheat that are gonna be common. 
pumpkins and melons for when I harvest. I did a, I did harvest out of the greenhouse, so so I just have to jump, crouch, come over, and then they're in here. I might yet put a window here after, like I'll, I'll I might do because I did like this one kind of a, a three by three wide, two tall, but then there's like a guard in there, so I might put one like maybe like a, a two by two here and then have a garden down here kind of like I have but threw up some paintings just to kind of give it a bit more life in here we've got the textured roof there is nothing upstairs just nothing at all some torches so that nothing spawns up there uh, so around here we did just basic windows we did the the big window here with the the supports I might change the roof at some point, but for now it's fine. I might, I might make a bunch of copper, like the next, when the update happens, I'm going to be going and collecting, going to the trial chambers and collecting more copper. So if I have an excess, I might change this to copper and then let it just age and then it'll be green. Uh, but tall windows here, no gardens. And then here, because I kind of messed up, this just became one big garden here because I had a one space and I couldn't do the, the gap with two trap doors. So it's like, I'll just make it one space. Put a texturing there. These rails are in place to start to go get that villager, which reminds me. Let's make sure he's still here. I believe he was in a boat. Yes, he is in a boat, so we'll have to keep him in there, block him in, and then surround him with the other thing and get him in there. So we'll have to build. I've got a shulker box over here for all of that. I'm going to have to do some off-camera creeper hunting. kinds of wheat and whatnot. I'm going to do more terraforming here to kind of clean this up so it won't be so jagged here. It's probably all going to be brought to about this level. We're just going to round it back to this level and then we'll figure out what I'm doing here. So I think over there, yeah that odd patch there is where I was getting moss from. But we do have all all the goodies we need to go and collect him. Oh, I'll probably do that off camera just because this is going to be like a, a boring land bridge to make. Then bring him over here and then the whole process of getting getting him so that hopefully he ends up on a one, di uh, uh, one pumpkin, one melon trade for an emerald because then he'll be like my money guy. I'll have to name tag him the melon man. So this might still move in the future. I just don't know where yet. I might put it behind the barn maybe. Because I kind of want to terraform behind here. Maybe do some kind of another building here. I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards making this like a city up here. And uh, like this is like more the, the farm end of it. And then maybe we'll do like... A field here for cows and whatnot and maybe another barn for cows and then we need a place for the pigs we need I wouldn't mind a chicken coop so it might just become like a larger farm type area but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if I'm trying to make this like a city there's gonna be more other things happening um, at the same time Teardown of this will be beginning soon. Mostly, I'm thinking I want to redesign this whole idea. I want it to be like an entryway and then have like two wings off of it. Uh, so I might, that tree will get cut down. I might move it so that it's here. So the front entrance is here and there's two wings off of it. And then there'd be decks, there'll be a second floor. So that you can like look out over the ocean. What is that down there? 
So it's kind of what I'm thinking. This will come down and this will get torn down and moved. And that might be something I'll actually do on the stream is tearing this down because that would just be something to do. Uh, this will come down. And these will get harvested and moved. I think this is just dirt here. Yeah, it's just dirt. Yeah, we'll just take that right now. And we'll go put this in the dirt chest in the storage area. Because I kind of want it so you can come up here. The bees are going to stay here. Just because I don't feel like moving the bees. Speaking of which, I should. I want a lot of honey. Honeycomb. I haven't seen my bees in a long time, so I hope they're not deceased. Although they shouldn't be, how would they they can't escape, so maybe I just haven't seen them. That's all. But yeah, there'll be that, and then there's going to be, like, there'll be the pathways here, there's the water source, there's the sugarcane farm to make paper. What's this doing? Yeah, now that I'm kind of more in this area, it's keeping this loaded in more, so. I think this roof is going to change, I'm going to have to just make it a wall. And it's just going to end up being like a similar thing like this. Two out. And I'll do it just acacia both sides. And then it can just be like a roof. I might have it have a roof and then it'll be an opening so they can come out and kind of, there'll be a fence so they can come out so far to kind of just get some running around. Like be able to open a door and go, go out into the, into like a courtyard type thing here. We'll see. Yeah. So yeah, that's going to be, I think, next week, because I don't know how long it's going to take to up Optifine updates. Next week, we'll do just like a, a world tour, I guess. Uh, I'll load up a new, a fresh world in 1.20.1 uh, in creative, so we can kind of do a before and after. Like, here's what it looked like beforehand, here's what it looks like now. I wonder if there's like another two or three style shards when we can just make two stacks that go all the way up, and then it just looks like that. I need to get, I need to buy more um, name tags and name this guy, whatever he sells. Protection 3, looting 2, Protection 2. What a ripoff, my dude. Well, he's got Silk Touch. What's this other guy got? Oh, you're Silk Touch. And you're a cheap Silk Touch. So. So, we'll do that. I still probably, because I've done the Deep Dark, we've done the uh, Bastion, we've done the End. There'll be something for a woodland mansion. There'll be something for a trial chamber. There'll be something for, I don't know what else, but yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at this for the time being. And then next week we'll do like a, a revisit to the back to the beginning. Cause this world is about a year old. I wanted to check not advancements statistics. Um, oh, I've had 21 deaths. I've played for 10.43 days and I have had 5.43 days since last death. Time of the world open is 12 days. Where's the days passed in game? cleaned you can clean banners crazy
somewhere in here it should have Yeah, I don't see it here. So it must be like an online thing. I've mined 58,000 stone. I've mined 829 bookshelves. That's crazy. What have I placed the most of so far? Time's broken. I've broken 42 iron pickaxes. I've crafted 14,205 bone meal. Times used. I've used my diamond pickaxe 76,648 times. I've picked up 54,000 cobblestone. I've dropped 4,458 bones. How many arrows have I used? How many arrows have I picked up? For only 14,000 arrows. I've, I've only picked up 14,000 arrows. That's crazy. I killed one bat. I've killed 44 blaze. I killed 10 cave spiders. They killed me twice. I've killed two chickens. I've never been killed by a chicken. Killed 29 cod, 45 cows, 213 creepers. One killed by, killed by one creeper, 38 drowned. One time, uh, killed one ender dragon, 28 endermen, died to an enderman once, 12 ghast, 15 hoglins, 19 husk, one iron golem, 106 magma cube, 16 phantoms, two pigs, two piglin, two piglin brute, 68 pillagers, pillagers killed me one time, five salmon, eight sheep, 64 shulkers, five silver fish, 8,600 skeletons I've killed. Uh, 7 Slime, 102 Spider, 17 Trader Llamas, 10 Wandering Traders, 5 Witches, 31 Wither Skeletons, 321 Zombies, 1 Zombie Villager, and a Zombie Zombified Piglin killed me one time. I thought there was somewhere in here that showed me how many days have passed in-game. Like how many how many days in game have passed? Um, I'd have to check because I've played ten point four three days, which you multiply that four three times twenty four. I have two hundred fifty hours into this game, so that's it's got to be at least a hundred days in game. So, so yeah. I suppose let's uh that's not what I wanted to do take another just gander over the horizon of the world that I've built in about a year's time IRL gears time 250 hours and considering spawn was like just over there somewhere. Still a lot of work to do. Still a lot of plans I have planned. So we're not quitting yet. Uh, we'll probably keep this world as long as I can. So. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you. Next time.